We're continuing to track Hurricane Dolly. And Dr. Lyons, why has Dolly just slowed down in its forward motion and then it's starting to take a jog more to the north? Well, it's all about timing and there's a little trough of low pressure just to the north of it and well to the north of it that's making all the difference. But uh, I'll show you that in just a second. Here's the latest from the Hurricane Center. Uh, it's a 100 mile per hour category two hurricane sliding to the northwest at about seven miles per hour. That track is expected to continue and then with a slowing and a turn more toward the west. Now let me show you some of the features that are controlling which way this system is going and which way it has gone over the last uh, 12 to 24 hours. And there you see this trough of low pressure in the mid latitude. You saw it up there dropping down to the south with a little low pressure off here and it's just enough to drag it north just slightly. Early on, the models thought that would be through earlier with ridge building in and pushing it on shore. Instead, it's moving northwest. And right now, Brownsville's inland just a little bit. We expect the center of circulation to possibly miss Brownsville to the north. When it makes landfall farther to the north up here, good news, there's not much there except National Seashore. So it might be that the strongest winds stay offshore and the back edge of the system will still come in and cross Brownsville. And we could still see some wind damage but the strongest surge we expect to be just north of South Padre, maybe just about uh, 15 or 20 miles north of where Jim Cantori is right now. But uh, we'll have to wait and see exactly on where everything lines up, but it's looking better for Brownsville for the category two winds. Nevertheless, we're still gonna see widespread power outages down here. We've already seen some, you've heard Jim mention that. And those power outages could sneak as far north as Rockport or a little farther north over the next 24 hours as this system comes in probably north of uh, Brownsville, about 50 miles or so over the next three or four hours. In the meantime, what do we expect rain wise? We still expect that rain to sweep in from the southeast and cover the south Texas coastline with very heavy rains. And this surge locally as high as seven feet from a category three down here, a category two down here, will probably be up the coast a little bit, not right down in the south Texas coast, but up about 20 to 30, maybe 40 miles up the coast from South Padre Island sometime later this afternoon, along with some very big surf. The rest of the Atlantic is quiet.